Hi, this is Artifacts of Mars. I uh, can't let every I can't deal with every single one of these whack job liberals, so I have to stick to the good ones, and this is a good one. Her name is Nina Berlay, and she had this article August nineteenth. Donald Trump and the FEMA camps crowd. This is a good one. Like he's really uh, a part of us. Well, he's closer than she is. That's for an obvious reason. When Donald Trump he sa says he expects this presidential election, when he looks at increasingly likely to lose, which is BS, will be rigged. It's, he's not just throwing out an empty phrase. The Republican is also actually dog whistling to deeply paranoid subject, subset of his supporters. Right. We're, of course, it's all paranoia that people have uh, been photographing these uh, FEMA camps. Right. Paranoia is nothing new in American politics, but in some of the current paranoiac generation, we need on next files and distrustful of institutions like the U.S. government with many having nothing better to do with their gun collections than taking aim at an occasional rabbit, seems to be taking the beliefs to the new heights. According to them, President Barack Obama will soon be in, instituting martial law and cancel a nullified election in November, after which is FEMA will disarm and hurt all the anti-abortion, religious, right gun-owning, homeschooling folks in the secret FEMA camps, that his administration has been spent has spent years preparing. Well, yeah, we've uh, those have been photographed, but she still this idiot uh, still says they don't exist. Obama's election in 2008 led to an explosion in hate groups spotting such ideas, and as their numbers have swelled, some of their beliefs have gone mainstream, stoked by broadcasters like Michael Savage, Alex Jones, and Glenn Beck. Why is this idiot uh, putting Glenn back in the same vein? Right-wing filmmakers, meaning Dinesh D'Souza, of course, and the host of websites featuring screaming headlines such as Update All Armed Americans to be Detained, detained in FEMA Camps Starting in 2017. So, like I said, the FEMA camps have been photographed. As for whether they're going to try to round us up, that might be a different story, because they might run into a wall of blood if they try. Taking their cue from the popularity of such sinkers and theorists, some American politicians can't resist their added, adding their encouragement to the discussion. Among those joining Donald Trump is... Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who last year gave credence to the rumor that the Department of Defense was preparing to invade a state during a training exercise called Jade Helm. And Jade Helm was very suspicious, actually. Don't seem like much happened, but of course I'm a Yankee, so I'm up here and they're down there. I don't know what happened. Not possible to meet Americans who have made major life decisions, such as leaving homes, jobs, and yanking children out of school. That's a pretty good idea, actually. Pulling your kids out uh, of public schools based on the belief that it's only a matter of time before their own government comes to get them. A Florida radio host has been exhorting people to join colonies of conservatives in Central America before the U.S. government rounds them up. You have to look that one up. At the Republican Convention in Cleveland, I met martial law conspiracy theory believers who were convinced that only Trump stands between them and one of the secret FEMA camps. Those with electronic operated turnstiles that rotate in, not out. Right wing anti government conspiracy simmered down during the George H. Bush years, even though paranoia. Could have shot up seeing the president was some of former CIA, CIA director. Also in 2006, W signed into law John Moore National Defense Authorization Act, which 
conspiracy theorists now propose Obama will use when he declares public emergency at his own discretion and places federal troops throughout the United States. <laughs> well, I've already seen, I actually photographed a second unmarked military vehicle. I don't know what unmarked military vehicles are doing on roads. I photographed this thing and I got a good look at the driver and it was an American soldier. A black guy in his twenties, I guess, and full army fatigues. So I don't know what's going on with that. Before this year I've never seen unmarked military vehicles on the roads. I'm gonna say that again. Before this year, twenty sixteen, I have never seen unmarked military vehicles on our roads. And this woman goes on and on as the minutes tick down toward the end of Obama's presidency, chatter about martial law and his commander in chief supposed tyranny ratchets up. Supposed tyranny? The guy's a nightmare. He's been attacking this country from the inside since he stepped in the White House. I heard the first thing he did, I could look this up, first thing he did was to tax tanning beds, which is a racist act since only whites use them. Last summer sat Savage radio host started suggesting that Obama would nullify the next presidential election, which he might. On TV, Beck has devoted airtime to the FEMA camp theory, saying he wanted to debunk it, but, if, but could not. Eventually, he did debunk it, but only after much criticism. All right. Uh, this She also attacks Jerome Corsi, who... From who is from World Net Daily, WND.com. And she attacks all sorts of people. Anybody who's conservative and doesn't trust the government, she's attacking. Along with a, a website that I just looked at, lastgreatstand.com. Uh, who is it's from some guy on YouTube? Uh, bring that up if it'll come up. Right wing conspirator is what he calls himself. Interesting guy. I think we'll just go ahead and subscribe to him. This is a whack job. Uh, this whack job liberal was like Molson. Basically, she expects us to sh sit down, shut up, pay our taxes, and be silent. So uh, her kind of politics can have its way. We're supposed to sit down, shut up, pay our taxes. You know, the citizens are neither to be seen nor heard. Because they... The elitists, they have everything under control, so just vote for your local Democrat and once a year and everything is fine. No, it isn't fine. I don't trust these, I don't trust these sons of bitches any more than a lot of these conspiracy theorists on YouTube do. I don't trust them at all. I don't think there is any reason to trust them. In this mixed up and mostly white world, no one seems to notice or care that the prisons of America are in fact disproportionately packed with black and brown people. That isn't true. The part about no one notices. Radio talk shows hosts do notice on a regular basis. And we're proposing, you know, we need to get the family going so a family can provide discipline that's needed as the kids are young. On the contrary, among this crowd 
it is white people most in danger of being incarcerated for their conservative beliefs. That is true. I'm not going to go over this all. This is a whack job liberal. Let me tell you, uh, Nina Berlay, if it wasn't for the alternative media, we would have no voice whatsoever. Conservatives would have no voice whatsoever. I mean, how do you tell when a politician is lying? Their lips are moving. We can't trust them. And the mainstream media has completely abandoned this. So where are we supposed to turn? Well, alternative media at least gives us some kind of a voice. We're able to exchange ideas. Without that, we wouldn't have anything. We would be completely shut out of the political process in this country without the alternative media. We wouldn't be able to speak. We wouldn't be able to do anything. So, uh, Nina Berlay, madam, you are so far out of the loop that you don't seem to understand anything. You don't know. You don't seem to understand anything in what you're talking about. Period. In the subject, I don't think you do. So, as far as I'm concerned, you can go get bent. If you don't know what term means, look it up, but it's rather disrespectful. You are a mentally disordered liberal. You don't seem to understand what's going on in this country. Many of us are alarmed. Uh, we have entire churches turning apostate and adopting Nazi-like pro uh, propaganda. Example is the United Church of Christ, who is which has gone completely apostate. They are adopting this uh, white privilege stuff. They ain't even have Ten Commandments of white privilege. So they are apostate. I'm an agnostic. But it doesn't stop me from saying what they are. <laughs> One of the reasons I am agnostic is that churches like the United Church of Christ have gone completely apostate. We have other churches that have gone apostate by following one of the most evil men in history, George Soros. It's a big mess. So we don't have any voice other than the alternative media and hopefully Donald Trump. That's about it. You want to know why we follow him, that's what it is. I don't like his backing off on the immigration thing, but I think we will get some action. Which is a good thing, because that's one of two issues I have right now, while others protecting our gun rights. Every other issue has dropped, fallen right off the board on me. So, I went a little long on this. This is an idiotic liberal. She's big time out of touch with who we are, and what we represent, so that's the way it is. I'm Artifacts of Mars, thanks for watching.